What's the mindset of the club knowing that if you win this, you've secured a spot in the playoffs on Sunday? Uh, it's do or die, you know, I think we, we know there's a bit of pressure there, but uh, it's in our own hands, which is great. So uh, at home, obviously, with our fans behind us, we fancy our chances. But with that being said, we saw what Colorado did in, 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 in Kansas. You know, this is uh, that's the MLS for you right there. Every, every team can uh, can get the W home or away. So uh, we know we have to bring our A game. With Salt Lake already being eliminated from the playoffs, how do you guys avoid this being one of those matches like a trap game? I just treat it with the utmost respect, you know. I think whether whether they're going to bring guys who uh, who are experienced um, and have that uh, that skill, that skill set, and that experience, or whether they're going to bring new new guys that are hungry, you know. Uh, I think there's uh, there's challenges in all those uh, possibilities. So uh, we just have to, I think, focus on ourselves. Uh, like I said, bring our A game, um, take advantage of the fact that it's in our own hands, and hopefully we can climb up the table a little bit. With this being the first ever decision day, you guys don't have that luxury of knowing what sort of result you need going into this match. So how does that change the mindset um, in terms of the approach to the game? I mean, I think it shouldn't. You know, I think you should approach every game throughout the year at, with that same kind of intensity if you could. Obviously, right now, if we uh, you know had three points that we maybe gathered uh, earlier in the season uh, in our pocket, then we'd be in a different position. So it shows you that every game counts. Um, every game you have to approach um, uh, with the utmost respect, like I said, and uh, obviously now uh, it's it's there to see for everybody um, that this is a huge game and uh, and um, yeah, it is it is what it is, but uh, I believe in our guys and, and we've had a good uh, week of training so far, so I think we're ready. And RSL's you know, potentially nothing to lose looseness almost be more productive for good soccer than an everything to lose pressure? Yeah, like I said, I think you, you could look at it uh, either way, you know, either they're going to come out uh, young guys who are timid or, or young guys who are hungry, you know, um, experienced guys who have something to prove, experienced guys who would rather the, be, the season is over already. Mm -hmm. So it can go either way, but uh, in, in any event, I think if, if they, you know, if they open themselves up and go for uh, a cheat a little bit and go for counters uh, and, and lose 4-0, they don't care. Uh, but if they get two or three goals that way, then Cool, uh, I guess so. Uh, the pressure's off of them, if you will. So they they have the freedom to just go forward and and do what they want to do. Is soccer a little trickier in in this kind of a, a big game situation? I mean, if this was the Chicago Bulls, you just turn Michael Jordan loose and he can kind of go win the game. Is it is it harder to to make that happen in in soccer? I think so. Yeah, I think it's you you can't say, oh, this is a big game. Now turn it up. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you've you've been trying to get those points all along. Mm -hmm. So uh, um, you know. With Kansas, I think they were at home. They knew they had to go pressure, but uh, obviously, when if you, you pressure and you put men forward, then you leave gaps behind. So, and when we were in uh, in Houston, we were expecting them to push forward, and so uh, maybe the, the the game started off a bit slow because of that. But um, that's just how every game has its own uh, it's a, it's its own beast, uh, and you kind of have to figure it out all along. So uh, as you're out there on a the pitch, adjust, see if you can uh, see see if they're going to sit back. Then obviously we're going to push a little bit, but. Uh, we fancy our chances at home with the 12th man for sure. Salt Lake's been a tough out for a little while now. What's made them so tough to play against, and has that changed? Do you think this year with a lot of their departures? No, I, you know they, they still have, have, a, have a good core of, of veterans who uh, tons of experience, and uh, obviously going to miss uh, Beckerman, which is going to hurt them. But um, still, I mean, I think if they put out some of their their veterans, they've been there, done that. So. Uh, very, very dangerous uh, squad, and uh, they have good defense. You know, Nick is obviously one of the better keepers in the league. Um, so, so they, they do. You know, they went through a couple changes, but um, overall, still a strong squad. And, and, and again, like I said before, in MLS, any team can uh, can win any game home and away. And then this is no other case. Uh, we have to we have to be ready for them.